Hi, we're going to recap what we learned this week on ukulele, and yes, I am playing on a pumpkin. Okay, now just quickly, I want to refresh how reading of the notation works on the PDF file that came through with. You'll notice that once it's printed out, if you look at the page, there are four lines. The four lines are the four strings, and we count from the bottom string. This is string number one, string number two, string number three, and the top string is the fourth string. Now on the page, the top of the page is actually the bottom of the ukulele, so everything is upside down, and there is actually a reason for that. I'm not going to explain it now, it's going to take too long, but just remember, top line on the page, bottom line on the ukulele, and the bottom line on each page is the top string on the ukulele. Very important to remember that. Now, you'll notice the numbers are zeros, twos, and ones, and all sort of various little numbers in different colors, being blue, green, and a red. And that's just to color code to show when we change strings. Now, what it should sound like when it's working is something like this. And there you have happy birthday. Okay, now, let's look at the first two dark blue zeros at the beginning. Those zeros mean open string, so you're playing a string, as you can see in the corner there, but I'm not using any fingers yet, that means the string is open. So you're playing two open strings, and if you look at the zeros, they're third from the top line, which means third from the bottom string. So you can see I'm playing this string over here. Should sound like that. Okay. The next number is a 2. Now that number 2 is the fret number. Now at the listen, we refer to them as sparsy in Afrikaans, or little spaces. This first space here that I'm busy showing, this little gap, that little block, is fret number 1, first fret. This is fret number 2, second fret. Fret number 3, third fret, and so on. And it's going to be coincidence that finger 1 is going to play in the first fret, Middle finger number two is going to be in the second fret. Finger number three in the third fret. And why we say it's coincidence is it doesn't always work like this for every song, but it is for this one. Okay. The two, you'll notice it's a dark blue, so it's on the same string as the opens. And when I put the finger down, I pluck it, and there's only one two, so I play two once. And after that, there's a open again. So if I start my tune, it should sound like this. We got that. Now the next two numbers in green are going to be 1, 0. Remember, the 1 means fret 1. And the fact that it's finger 1 is coincidence, but it might help a little bit just to get going. And it's also second line from the top of the page, which is the second string from the bottom of the ukulele. So there's my one, and for the zero, I play open. Now I'm going to play through the first bar slowly. I'm going to count, so if you want to join me, because the girls learned very, very well, very quickly the first lesson, so very well done to all of them. It's going to be like this. One, two, three, four. Okay. That's your first bar. The second starts the same. You'll notice the same double zero, two zero in dark blue. But it ends up with a three one, this time in green. Three means fret three, first space, second space, third space, first fret, second fret, third fret. And we're using finger number three for the third fret, followed by my finger number one for the first fret. So your second bar, and there's the three, one. Now we finally onto the last line. It starts once more with the two dark blue zeros, and then goes to red notes. Now the red notes, top line is bottom string. We're repeating that a lot because it's very, very important to remember that the page is upside down to the ukulele. The three, fret three, 
zero, open, fret one on the green, open green, and we finish off at fret two on the third string. So let's just slowly play that bar again, the first uh, seven notes on the second line. It's going to go open, open, three, open, first fret, open, two. And then the last bar, the red ones. Notice there's two ones, so I play it twice. And I take it off for the red zero. And the last three notes in green, all on the second string. One, three, one. So to recap what we need to remember here. On the page, top line, bottom string. Bottom line, top string. So we just need to get that mindset. Zero means open, so you're playing a string without any of these fingers. You're not using those fingers at all. Open string, open string, zeros. The two means fret number two. One means fret number one. Three means fret number three. And the pinky is just hanging around for now. We're not using it yet. I'm going to play through the whole piece now slow. So if you want to join me, you're more than welcome. I'm going to count in. And here we go. Make sure you can see the fingers nice and clear. One, two, three, four. Hopefully you've got this ready for whoever's birthday is coming up soon. Okay, very important to the parents. If you've got any questions, if the kids are not sure of anything, if they want to double check a number, if they want to make sure they're playing the right string, maybe do a short video, send it through to me. I'll be happy to comment. I might not answer immediately because I might be teaching, but I will get back to you. And looking forward to next week. Have an awesome one. Thank you.